today it's 7 July 2018. This domestic short hair female one year old cap came four days ago uh, with a problem of brown on the right high leg. Wound with a wound here on, on the back side, right? Yeah, the right. right high. Okay, then show the wound, is it still there? And uh, you don't, the cat is not happy, but then don't disturb him. Uh, mm -hmm. No need to take out, no need to take out. We just show only then a bit of the wound, right or left? Right, yeah, okay. Yeah. So turn the back side towards us. Yeah, okay. So this wound was stitched up yesterday, right? Uh, two days ago. Two days ago. Okay, so what happened was the owner left the cat with a friend and then the, the cat went out. I got lost, then the friend started to clean the wound. It's a big wound as you can see with uh, antiseptic and powder but the cat keep licking it. So when the owner came back, the cat was already badly infected. So there was a difficulty in uh, closing up. So I advised two days here with antibiotics and painkillers and then stitching which was done yesterday. What, what anesthetic was used? Uh, we give Salazin and Ketamine IM and then meeting with the guests. Meeting with guests, huh? Okay, so this cat actually now should be happier. Eh? Earlier it wasn't happy. Eh? So today it's going home and uh, the stitches use the sutures. Almost in 3-0. Sure, sure, sure. So we show the stitches. This is absorbable. Absorbable and so. So actually the owner does not need to come back for stitch remover. Uh, the cat will be given painkillers and e collar for 14 days and uh, the wound should heal. The best is stitch remover on 14th day and uh, there should be no more infection now because we have given antibiotics for at least 3 days and we will continue with antibiotics for some more uh, next 5 to 7 days. So the cat is not eating, right? Not eating. Yeah. So we will let her go home. It's a him, right? Normally they eat at home, yeah. Okay, huh?